everybody, my name's Helen Lacey and I'm the Managing Director for Red Berry Recruitment here. And where I am today is in, Shepton, uh, in the Shepton office and I'm live on Facebook. So if you're watching um, and you'd like to put a comment, ask a question, um, then please do, please like, please share. Um, and in particular, I'm going to be talking about a really hot topic at the moment, which is the older generation. Now, we've actually decided that we're going to be a real campaign uh, this year at Red Bay Recruitment about the older generation because we feel there's an untapped market here for candidates, um, for businesses out there looking to recruit. So Sam, who is my amazing um, social media exec, is behind the camera. Say hello, Sam. Hello. Hello. Um, so Sam's come up with this absolutely fantastic logo for us. So you're going to be seeing this around Twitter, on LinkedIn, uh, on our websites because we're really trying to raise the awareness about the older generation. And what do we mean by the older generation? So we're talking about the over 55s. So please don't be offended. This is not us saying that you've got to be over 55 for the older generation. These are the statistics that are out there that will that I'll sort of indicate them and lead to later on. So we are promoting the older workforce. So we're very recruitment. We don't want people to know that we are here promoting the older workforce. Now, Unfortunately, being a recruitment agency, uh, we don't always get our own way. We do have to rely on businesses to listen to us, and we are a consultative agency. So our aim is to advise businesses about the economy, what's going on within the labour market. Um, and if you don't already know, Somerset in particular has the highest out of the whole country for employment. And um, employment right now, I think it's about 4.6% of people aren't employed, so that's like a pretty scary stat. Somerset is 1.6%. So we've got 1.6% of people um, basically unemployed, we've got a very small pool of people. You know, we need to start looking at where we can find you know, sort of more candidates. So you know, there are some scary, you know, some scary stats out. So I'm just going to read you some information. So this is obviously information that's out there. And it's finding the UK uh, talent gap. I think this was in the uh, Director magazine. So the Director uh, magazine is uh, something that as an IOD um, or as a director that I get. Uh, but you can Google it and go online. So basically 94% of employers believe that the older people could be the key to bridging the skills gap. 94% of businesses out there feel that. So we need to make sure that if those businesses are thinking that, then they need to be doing something about it. But only 23% are actively seeking to recruit businesses over 50. Now, you know, I'm going to put it out there. Why do we think that is? You know, I, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. So we do try and actively promote um, businesses to take on the older workforce. Why do we do that? Well, we think it offers stability. Um, they've normally had a career. Uh, maybe they, they, they are giving something into um, an industry that is sort of stability within a business. So um, offering good sort of, um, sort of work ethics. It can help maybe level out a team as well. So if you've got quite a, quite a high driven dynamic office, sometimes maybe an older person come in, still have that high energy, but they might come with different life experiences. Um, and they also come with really good transferable skills. You know, some people out there might have two or three different careers. So again, I just think we need to start looking. If 94%, as I said, of employers know that actually the older generation could bridge that gap between what the demand is and actually what actually is actually available, then and only 23% are actually doing something about it. And there's a huge, what, 70 odd percent um, that need to, to see what else they can do. Um, the biggest concerns, again, and this just doesn't link to, to the older generation, is, is the economy. So 46% obviously are currently worried, I think that could be higher. Um, with with only Brexit looming, um, we're worried about compliance, and as business owners, we're also worried about skill shortages. So 42% of businesses are worried about skill shortages. 94% of businesses say that they need the, the older generation, and there's obviously got to be a link there. Um, I think so my 32% have said that they have um, blocked the over 50s from seeing their adverts. Why would you do that? And I said, now this is really quite scary statistics. You know, there's 32% of, of businesses saying, we don't want you if you're over 50. A, they can't do that, but obviously they are because the director magazine, from the statistics and from the surveys that they've taken, are saying that that's happening. Um, and 62% admitted to using IT tools in order to gain certain candidates based on age, gender and disability or race. Now this is brilliant. So we do this, we do this at Red Berry, where we specifically target a particular, say, demographic. So if we are looking, say, to help, um, I don't know, a company that's looking for apprentices, then we're not going to specialise in that, but if we want somebody that they want a graduate, then we will go out to market. If they want an engineer, we will go out and target specifically um, engineering people or people within the engineering sort of sector. 
So it's very easy with social media and with all the algorithms um, that are out there. You say, I'm not a, a social media, uh, I'm not a forensic genius when it comes to social media. But certainly there are tools out there. And I think something that we as businesses could be doing, particularly agencies advising businesses, that there are op opportunities and there are lots of tools that can help target specific um, say skills, ages. You've got to be very careful with, with obviously with gender um, and with age, as I said. But if you've got a skill gap and there's potential loads of people out there that aren't working in the older generation, then actually maybe there is actually that, that um, problem could be solved. I'm trying to think here, some more statistics. There we go. By 2050, 33% of the UK's working age population will be 50 plus. That's 33%. So, you know, I'm trying to think how old I'm going to be. You know, my maths isn't that good and I haven't got enough fingers to count on. But, um, you know, that's, that's a quite a high percentage of the workforce. We are all living longer as well. And um, I think something like, you know, like we've got more people living into the 80s than they ever have, have before. Um, when a thousand people aged over 55 were asked about attitudes towards the ageing workforce, 73% said that employees weren't doing enough to make use of their skills and experience. So there we go. So the over 55, they've been interviewed and nearly, what, nearly 75% to 73% are saying that they're not being utilised. So they're not saying they're being utilised. Businesses are saying out there there's a skill gap and there's a need. Come on guys, we need to start joining the dots. So this is what we're trying to do, say at Red Barrier Creek. We're trying to highlight the older generation. We're trying to promote the older, gener work, uh, older generation workforce. You know, we've got a campaign going. Please back us. If, you, if you're the older generation and you're watching, then please make a comment. If you're the younger generation, you know, you're going to be old one day. So this, you know, don't think it's not going to affect you in years to come because, you know, I don't want to say how long it's going to affect me, but I will be in that category in about 10 or so years' time. So, you know, we need to make sure that we are really pushing for people out there with the right skill set, the right attitude. They tend to drive, they've got, you know, they, maybe their mortgages have been paid, but they want to go back to work, so they miss maybe the hustle and bustle. So just, just think differently if you're a business watching this. And again, if you're an older person looking to get back um, into the workplace or looking to, you know, maybe not retire yet, but do something on a part-time basis, then please do get in touch. We've got four offices. Um, all our details can be found through the various sort of media channels that we use. Um, and please do, as I said, comment, like and share so we really get this campaign moving through, uh, throughout the rest of the year. Thank you so much.